on today's show, I'm very proud. We, we have a duo here from Japan who I'm very proud to have on today's show, who I'm a big fan of. Ladies and gentlemen, please present a warm welcome for Milk Talk. Hey, what's going on? Hello, I'm QI. I'm Hair Kid, and we are Milk Talk. We make funk and boogie type synth music here in Japan. And we're really happy to be on the show. I've been listening to Studio Funk、um, for maybe the past couple of weeks to kind of get ready for <laughs> this. And uh, uh, it's just like I, every time I listen to the, the show, I got a little more excited. I was happy to hear my friend Ryan Eric Williams on the show, who he's actually been very kind to me the times that I've visited Tokyo in the past year or two. So、mm. I, was, I was pretty surprised.、Um, To see that you guys are connected as well. Because、um, yeah. he's, he's, he's a great guy. Yeah, it's definitely a small world. I've been talking to Ryan for quite some time. And when I said to him, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about、um, having Milk Talk on the show. And he was like, Oh, yeah, sure. Miles, that's a, that's a good friend of mine. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> What? How is that even possible? And then <laughs> it just made me realize that everyone just knows each other in, this, you know, in our community, let's say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because our community is t s big, but it's also small at the same time. That's right, that's right. As you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of your, your work, your music, and yeah, really proud to have you on the show. And today we're going to be talking about a lot of things. And well, first of all, it's like some people, well, some listeners here, they might not be aware of you、um, both. And I know it's like you have a bit of a journey that's been happening for the last few years, I would say. But I just want to know how did it all first get started? Q, would you like to take this? How did, how did you meet me? We first met at a small venue in Manhattan.、Uh, I was there to see a friend perform live. So I think he was performing along with a strange set. So then we talked for a bit. And two weeks later, we were writing a song together. So, I have a strange story as because we did our first recording at the Hellkit House. It's a basement studio in New Jersey. It's kind of funny now <laughs> that I think about it. So, wow. So, like, at first, Hellkit was like, I think this is interesting. That one. There was a video that he showed me. It was a video of three girls in Selafuku, like a Japanese like, school uniform, singing. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it <laughs> and said,、uh, This place is dangerous, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come into my basement and watch sailor uniform girl videos. <laughs> In New Jersey.、Uh, That was like our first experience、yeah. hanging out together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really strange. But I'm glad I didn't give up and record it because the song that c o m e out was Plastic New York. This is our respon- response tale. What is it in music? Response tape music. Right. Or kind of maybe like representative. Or... Ah, yeah, representative music. Come on. Okay. Yeah. I just want to clear my name there. The,、uh, the video that I showed her, <laughs> <laughs> this was actually, it was,、um, I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was a, like a live on Japanese TV performance of this like theme song for this movie. That these three girls did.、Um, one of them was、uh, Yui Asaka, who's kind of like a pretty famous idol.、Um, and that song is actually kind of, it's got kind of a groove, but it's kind of kind of cheesy. I think the song is called Remember. QI, do you remember the artist's name? It was like the Something Sisters. Ah,、uh, yeah, I just remember Kazama Sanshimai. Kazama san shimai. Yeah, Kazama is the first name. San shimai means like sister. Like three sisters? Yes.、Maybe? Yeah. 
so I had just discovered this video and was like, you have to see this. And then she's thinking, <laughs> oh, oh God, he wants me to put on a sailor uniform and, and sing for him. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was cool. <laughs> Well, at least, you know, at least it's a very memorable event. You're going to always remember those moments. Yeah, yeah, that was um, unforgettable. And um, I'm glad that you um, stuck with him, <laughs> Q. <laughs> yeah, thank you for not running away. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't keep up. Yeah, that, that was really fun, though. We, we recorded and wrote yes. Plastic New York really quickly. Yeah. At that time, I couldn't speak any Japanese, so I left the lyrics to her. And as Milk Talk, we earlier this year, we put out like a new version of Plastic New York because the original mm. was a little more housey, a little more kind of like chip tune, which I was very into at the time. But we decided to make kind of a more milk talk vibe version with more vintage synthesizers and um kind of more of a analog feel yeah. but the the vocal on the new version is that original recording we made in it must have been 2015 so oh wow so the actual vocals on that track is still from the original first recording then yeah 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 it's mixed differently but that's um that's a, I guess, a seven-year-old vocal now, which is like our history. Wow. The first thing we ever did together. Yeah. So that track there is, it's actually one of my favorites of yours. And just to say as well, I really like the video. <laughs> I never get that day I discovered the video and I was like, what, there's a video as well? <laughs> and um, it's really good to see. And yeah, I love that track. I love the bass on it and everything about it really. And it's one of those things where every now and again people are just saying like what are you into at the moment i might just like give them that video and i'll be like check this out <laughs> that that video is actually the reason there's a new version of the song because this was at the very beginning of this year in january i went up to work with qi on a different project and we had like one afternoon together after the work was done yes and we were like, we gotta do some like milk talk something. So <laughs> what if we like go dance to Plastic New York by, by the riverside? And uh, she, she said, yeah, I said, yeah. So we did that and then we had this kind of like really good video that we had taken. And then I started thinking to myself, okay, if we put this out, should it just be the original track? Like, I, th I think there should be something new. So I hit the studio and started putting together new parts. So actually the video came first before the Milk Talk version of the song. That's interesting. Which is kind of, uh, I guess that's pretty backwards, but. Yeah, so that means then in that music video, you're actually dancing to the original version. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, wow. That's a, that's a very good insight right there. 